Let's take a look at this method signature. We can see that Ajax takes in URL and settings, and settings come within these square brackets. In general, square brackets within documentation means that something is optional. So if we look at settings, we see that, in fact, all settings are optional. So in all reality, all you really need is a URL for an Ajax request. Ajax has another signature where you're just passing in settings, and settings are optional. This leads to an interesting situation. Let's talk about this for a second. The correct answer to this question is going to be URL, but we can see that with this function signature, we don't even need settings. Settings are in fact optional, and there is no URL. Um, so you actually can call an AJAX request without passing in anything to it, but that would be kind of pointless because while it would succeed, it wouldn't go anywhere, so you're not really doing much of a request. In terms of real-world requests, most POST requests will probably have a URL and some data with them, because in a POST request, you're usually sending off data. And GET requests in the real world generally have a URL along with some type of callback function and some optional data passed along with the GET request. But the only thing that's really necessary to send off a functional AJAX request is a URL string. 